I'm Emma Jolly and I'd like to welcome you to Benham and John's Haven in Aberdeenshire, North East Scotland. Benham and John's Haven were originally located in the ancient county of Kincardenshire. The administrative boundaries have changed over the years and Kincardenshire has been absorbed into the modern council area of Aberdeenshire. The area around Kincardenshire has long been known as the Merns. The county used to consist of 21 parishes shown here. Um, you can see their locations here. Um, and this is uh, this is taken from the Januki website. So if you want to explore that, you should just go onto the Januki site. The red arrow um, at the bottom is pointing to 253 and 253 is the parish of Benham. So that's where it's located to, to the south, um, closer to Angus than to the Aberdeen side. The name Benham derives from Ben, a hill, and home, um, or a low-lying level ground. In 1845, the statistical account of Scotland described the area as extending about three miles from north to south and the same distance from east to west. Consequently, it may contain about nine square miles, bounded on the southwest by the parish of St. Cyrus, on the northwest by that of Garvoch, on the northeast by that of Burby, and on the southeast by the German Ocean. So the German Ocean is now known as the North Sea. There are a number of useful archival holdings relating to Benham. The National Library of Scotland, NLS, in Edinburgh, holds a wealth of material and has a particularly useful collection of maps. Many of the maps, including this um, close-up of uh, Benham and Johnshaven, is um, this is from Kincardenshire in 1857, um, and these and many of these maps can be accessed via the NLS maps webpage, which is shown here. In 1868, the National Gazetteer of Great Britain and Ireland described Benham as a parish in the county of Kincardine, Scotland, two miles from Burvey Vicarage, situated, situated on the seacoast and contains the town of Johnshaven. The soil is fertile and the su surface is partly... The surface is partly... Um, Hilly. Fishing and the manufacture of sailcloth employ many of the inhabitants. Um, limestone is quarried in the neighbourhood. The gazetteer goes on to describe John's Haven as a village and small port in the parish of Benham, County Kincardine, Scotland, three miles southwest of Burby. It is situated on a bay bearing its name and has a small harbour. It is a coastal station. Here is a Presbyterian church. The inhabitants are principally employed in the fishery and in linen weaving. So John's Haven was the village centre of the parish, and in 1722 it was said to be amongst the most important fishing towns in Scotland. So this image shown here is of the shoreline, and it's from the collection of the Benham and John's Haven Heritage Hub Museum, which is in the centre of the fishing village. Um, it's located in the old lifeboat house, which was established in 1891. Very little has changed from the outside, with the buildings and coastline being as my ancestors would have remembered the area. Um, besides a dedicated collection of displays, artefacts, videos, presentations and images of the heritage of the village dating from the mid 1600s, the museum offers a hand on visitors experience telling the story of Benham and John's Haven during wartime. This is particularly um, uh, significant this year because 2023 is the centenary of the Benham and John's Haven War Memorial. Um, the parish is of personal family history significance to me, as it is where my great-great-grandfather, shown here, William Jolly, grew up. He was born in 1842 and died in 1889. Um, William was born a few miles from um, further south of Benham in the town of Montrose, Forfarshire, with now Angus, where his father, James Jolly, had been working. And after his father's death, William and his siblings were separated and sent to different relatives. William was sent to live with his grandfather, after whom he'd been named, so he was also William Jolly, and he lived from 1782 to 1861, and he lived in Benham. And the young William uh, was baptised in Benham Parish Kirk at the age of six. In 1841-1851, uh, William, the grandfather, was working as an agricultural labourer at the Mains of Brotherton in Benham, which, um, uh, yeah, and the National Records of Scotland in Edinburgh holds useful records relating to the family 
and um, local history. Um, Aberdeen City and Aberdeenshire archives hold records relating to Benham and John Saban, including school logbooks and admission registers, um, burial ground lair certificates, printed family trees, records of the parish council, and papers relating to harbour works. Aberdeen and Northeast Scotland Family History Society also has a building in the city of Aberdeen and contains a huge range of resources. So in 1851, as I've said, my family were living in the mains of Brotherton, um, where William Senior worked on the land. And so I found this report on um, William Senior's wife and uh, the younger William's grandmother, Jean Jolly, in the British newspaper archive database. And I searched um, using the address of Mains of Brotherton, which is a good way of, um, uh, of searching rather than on, on the names of the family. Um, and this uh, newspaper report shown here, it's um, uh, interesting, not just for the uh, shocking incident that occurred, um, but um, also in describing the windows of their croft building. So we know that there were at least 20 panes of glass in two windows, for example. And uh, it's details like this that helped me to visualize the home in which they lived. And this is um, a close up of Benham taken from the uh, website of Vision of Britain through time. You can see the details and then um, right at the bottom, uh, highlighted by the red arrow, that is the mains of Brotherton where um, my Jolly family lived in, in the mid 19th century. So the mains of Brotherton um, was the farm estate on the land of Brotherton Castle, which is shown here. Um, the castle is now a boarding school called um, Lath Allen School. Um, in 1837, the parish minister, James Glenn, wrote of the garden at Brotherton, some of which you can see in this uh, image, that despite being a very few yards from the sea, it is remarkable for its productiveness and for the fine quality and flavour, both of the large and small fruits. This must be accounted for in small measure from the height of the garden walls, which protect the various productions from the direct influence of sea breeze. So you can see the, the garden walls here and you can see how um, high they are. Um, in 1859, the castle was demolished and it was rebuilt in the 1860s. The Scotland's Places website is another useful resource. Their database um, reveals that common Kincardenshire occupations included the flax industry, agriculture, sail making and fishing. Kincardenshire claimed to be the first county in Scotland in which flax spinning by machinery was established. Um, in 1787, a mill for spinning line, um, linen yarn was erected on the Hawes of Burby by Messrs Sim and Tom. Uh, Benham linen manufacturer survived into the 19th century, but on a much smaller scale than formerly. 632,896 yards of linen were stamped in the country in 1822. And uh, that detail is from the database Electric Scotland. Happily, the mill of Benham still exists. You can see it here. Um, it, the linen industry uh, no longer survives there. Though. The, the mill buildings are category A listed and are described by Historic Environment Scotland as an exceptional and rare survival. The buildings now belong to Aberdeenshire Council and are currently unused. Um, Historical Environment Scotland also has a, a useful archive uh, for research in Scottish places. And again, that's based in Edinburgh. The Mill of Benham is a rural mill complex on a sheltered site of around five acres beside the Burn of Benham, and the site comprises the mill, dated 1817, with water wheel, wheel and full interior workings, mill pond, laid and sluices, former miller's house, former buyer, old grain store, an area of mature deciduous woodlands in poor condition with woodland walks, and a former croft, including an area of horticultural land with polytunnels and raised beds. In 1860, uh, the younger uh, William Jolly, my great great grandfather, um, moved away from Benham, firstly to Fordoon, where he trained as a blacksmith, um, and then he went up to Aberdeen to enlist in the Royal Engineers, and he would never live in Scotland again. On the 22nd of April 1861, a couple of weeks after the census was taken on the 7th, my four times great grandfather, William Jolly Senior, um, he sadly died in Benham of kidney stones. Um, in 2007, I was lucky enough to make my ancestral pilgrimage to the grave of my four times great grandfather, which is shown here. Um, and I took these photos and I was able to explore the area. Um, Benham Parish Kirk, you can just see behind that tree there, was founded in 1832, but closed in 2004. So it's not an active church now. 
But if you have ancestors buried in this graveyard, like me, you can check monumental inscriptions um, in the pre-1855 Gravestone Inscriptions in Concordantshire uh, book that's edited by Alison Mitchell and published by the uh, Scottish Genealogy Society. Um, and again, the Scottish Genealogy has another useful archive in Edinburgh. Um, its library offers a range of essential genealogical resources and including FamilySearch affiliate records.